everyone and welcome to That's JPW, your twice a week installment this hour on Wrestle Universe of all English Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling action. I'm Chris Brooks, joined by Balian Aki. That's JPW everybody, that's Joshi Pro Wrestling, right here, all English content available only on Wrestle Universe and if you are here, get a friend, get together, let everybody get into this. The next upcoming match is everybody a tag match. Mm. Fired up for Tokyo Joshi, mm. big match, very mm. big match. Huge. Main, main people in this. Huge tag team match today. We have the team of Moka Miyamoto and the pink striker Miyu Yamashita. They are facing off against the white dragon Rika Tatsumi and Suzume. Let's Suzume. get the first team in here now and get their comments and see how they feel about the match today. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hi, I'm Miyu Yamashita and Moka. Hey! <laughs> I'm going to win today with Yamashita-san. Thank you for support. Okay. Okay! Today you're wrestling Rika and Suzume. Yeah. What are your thoughts on those two? Mm, I don't know. You so don't, <laughs> don't know. So <laughs> we both were doing karate. Oh, you both do karate? Yes. yes. We are Quite team. Good. We are team karate guys. So you go, karate guys yeah. here, everybody striking. Let's go! He's gonna go all around. Very little in thoughts on Rika and Suzume, yeah. but a great tag team pose, so yes. you gotta commend them on that. Let's bring in uh, the White Dragon and Suzume and see what they have to say about the match today. Please join us. Please join us. Yes. Yes. Hi, Lady here. Good morning. Hello. Good, ev uh, good uh, evening. Good evening. Yeah. Greetings all around. White Dragon Rika Tatsumi! Do you love TJPW? Oh. Love it, oh. love it! The opponent is. Opponent is. Opponent is. Japanese karate ga? Karate? They have a pose. We are. We are strong. Because we are B. And the dragon, the stronger, stronger, stronger. Karate vs. B and dragon. Thank you very so, much. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting us, everybody. Oh. Bye. This match. There you have it. You have yeah. a B. You have. You B. have a dragon. Yes. You have karate. Yes. Who's gonna win? I have no idea. Let's but I can't out. wait to see. Let's find out. The following contest is a tag match scheduled for one four with a 20 minute time limit. Hello everyone, welcome to That's JPW, Kudusu Buruksu and Balian Aki here in the commentary booth today with this big tag team match we've got coming up. Hello everybody, this is Balian Aki and that is in Katakana, Kudusu Buruksu, the Karate Go. By the way, I really feel this, but Mocha, because of how traditionally close he is in Tokyo Joshi, where everybody is glamorous, stands out incredibly to me. And Yamashita literally brimming with confidence as he should be, even in the opening talks, really giving the chance to the, how would you call it, rookie Mocha to really show up, like please say, like directing it. Pointed out there uh, just before the uh, unique appearance of Moka Miyamoto, her catchphrase uh, Yamato Nadeshiko, a word for a traditional style Japanese girl, which she certainly is, uh, with a karate background to boot, both her and the pink striker Miyamoto Yamashita. Uh, strong striking games, and they're gonna, they're gonna need that, 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 that striking power today against the uh, white dragon Rika Tatsumi and Suzume. And if Moka is really aiming for striking, she cannot hope for a better idol, better someone to follow than Yamashita. Absolutely, she's got a chance to be in there with the best striker in TJPW, one of the best strikers in pro wrestling to be quite honest with you, given it to Yamashita. And now, Suzume and Rika Tatsumi. Suzume, as much as I know, is what you would call a future generation ace, somebody who's championship material, somebody who will carry 
DJ Pedro some days. All those hopes are put on. And flies the dragon. Right there you are, Aki Suzume, only 22 years of age, but clearly positioned for big things in Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling today, teaming with a veteran member of the TJPW roster, the White Dragon, Rika Katsumi. Yes, the first time I saw Suzume was actually in uh, Tokyo Joshi's TDC Hall. I saw her wrestle with your, you know her very well, Miss Ruga, mm. my best bro. And I really saw horrible, wretched little worm of a creature. Let's not get into it, but as we see, uh, Suzume, you can see talent there very clearly, undeniable talent. Absolutely, very charismatic in the ring and very talented too, with only a year of experience under her belt at the moment. And you can see the cautiousness, a bit of fear, a bit of nervousness. Yeah, I'd be cautious if I were her too. Mia Yamashita can uh, deliver a swift kick from out of nowhere at seconds notice. Almost as to test Suzume. Keeping those strikes at bay is Yamashita. Yamashita clearly overpowering her in the early stages with that double knuckle lock. Suzume quickly using her speed to escape out of it. Yamashita controlling her now with the hammer lock. Train transitions into a side headlock. Suzume is going to back her into the ropes and shoot her off. Big tackle from Mew. Yamashita puts Suzume down. As you know, Suzume is called a bee, which I really like the fact is because it literally implies that she's fast and she can sting you at a moment's notice. Mm. You can really tell where she is trying to put her hopes, the target she has for her. But if it's stinging we're talking about, Yamashita can really get you. Absolutely. You make a great point there, Aki. The nicknames of the members of the Tokyo jo Joshi uh, roster are not simply nicknames. Like, uh, it's very easy to understand the characters of who's in the ring. Like, it's spelled out very, uh, very uh, matter of factly. Like you say, Suzume B, she's stingy, she's fast, she's small. Yeah. It also lets you know that the wrestlers hope in what they're trying to achieve, where mm. they're trying to go, what they want out of this. And that really helps you connect, that it helps you like get that first step over to understand. For sure, but for all her hopes and wants, uh, Miyu Yamashita is a front face lock now and they're going to isolate Suzume in the corner by the looks of things, bringing Moka Miyamoto into the ring. Rika Tatsumi trying to get in and help her partner, but Yamashita quickly pumping the brakes and they go corner to corner Here we go. Oh, they turn, they turn, they turn. Shoots them across the high pot news of the ring, but they do go in the middle and counter with two big drop kicks. Poor Moka. Having the first of that exchange. Moka now with a kick out. I really feel like to Suzume, Moka might seem like somebody who she will always have across that ring. Mm -hmm. That's you would carry that relation over the years if you really keep going back and forth against each other and the fact that she is the both of them are wrestling together with Rika and Yamashita in the same ring you can see the, the now and the future in the same relationships maybe. Right, absolutely kind of similar uh, levels of experience between Suzume and Moka and uh, then adversely kind of the same with uh, their two partners here today you've really got sort of the the aces of Tokyo Joshi team and with two of the younger sort of uh, future stars of Tokyo Joshi Rika uh, likes to utilize those hip attacks. Yoshikuza el uh, Yosh <laughs> Yosha Ikuza elbow attempt by Rika and nails it. Yosha Ikuza, which means yes and let's go. That's, those are, by the way, very good words. If you ever visit a, a wrestling show in Japan, you, you should remember those. Those are really good words to shout. You know the first Japanese phrase I learned was Ikuza. <laughs> yes. You'll it means hear, let's you'll go. Hear, you'll hear it a lot. You hear it a lot. I just heard it as well. Here we go, Suzume now in, trying to dominate Moka. Very traditional in her dress, very traditional in her forms, and stands out a lot in the new generations of Tokyo Joshi. Twisting the ankle, managing and trying to go after the legs of Moka now, changing the strategy a bit. And I always love those. Like, it almost feels like they will snap your an ankle. Those snapping moves. And she has her all kind of 
tied up. Got the legs grapevine sitting on the back. Maybe putting the pressure on Moka Miyamoto. Not necessarily uh, putting too much pressure on the back, more so just making her crawl to the rope to get the escape, trying to tire her out a little bit. Yeah, that's really, like an exhausting process. Yes, and also I love the fact that because Mocha doesn't have too much weight on her, really using her whole body, mm -hmm. who's like almost the same side with Mocha, to make sure that she has to spend that extra energy. For sure. Look just to the, do any of those normal things. Look at the comfortability of like Susan A in the ring. She's yes. so in control right now for someone who really doesn't have an awful lot of professional wrestling experience. Yes. It's a testament to the level of Oh! Really looking her opponent, really making sure. Really a B. Yeah, absolutely. Really is a testament to the level of performer that uh, Tokyo Joshi are turning out with their uh, dojo. Yes. As you can see, now Moka getting frustrated. Trying to fight out. Oh! Power! Has Moka. Huge big body slam by Moka Miyamoto there. Puts the smaller Suzume down and she's made the tag to the pink striker. And true to her name, comes in, boots Suzume right in the stomach, follows her into the ropes with a huge knee, takes off again, head of steam. Big jumping clothesline by Miyu Yamashita. Yamashita on fire. B within a blink of an eye, Suzume is down. Kabuki Suzume gets a count of two and she grabs her soon, isolating that chin lock on Suzume. Really changing the dynamic of the match in one second. And Susme now finding out what it's like to be on the other hand, other side of that predicament. Susme makes it to the rope. She managed to quick to break the hold. And just drives ahead into the corner. You notice the corners of uh, these turnbuckle pads are a lot different to the ones you perhaps be used to seeing in uh, US wrestling or uh, European wrestling. They're much less padded. Oh yes, they're basically so you don't bust up <laughs> when you hit your head on the turnbuckle. That's all they do. Just enough coverage so that you don't catch the, uh, the point of the, the corner post, but there's absolutely no padding on them whatsoever. Susan May manages to get a break out though and tags into the White Dragon. Rika Tatsumi. They still have been this round many, many times and they will do so now as well. So Rika. Smartly evading to the apron, catches Very the careful. leg. Nice! And gets it! Nice knows for her opponent is Rika Tatsumi. Okay. To survive in the age of Yamashita Yuka Sakazaki and all those monsters, Rika has found her own way of fighting. Mm. And as you can see, really going after the legs of Yamashita. Oh, that was an uncomfortable drop kick. <laughs> I didn't like seeing that. <laughs> that, was, that was hard. And a fall, both very legs much, hooked. He has very much putting all the pressure she can on that pinfall. Oh, but you better not blink in front of Yama's stop. Ah, catch the leg and another and dragon screw. Very fitting the name of the white dragon. Rika Tatsumi, uh, definitely influenced by uh, one Tatsumi Fujinami, the original dragon. The original uh, dragon. Utilizing that dragon screw. Uh, she also likes to utilize the dragon sleeper. And then obviously uh, the, the hip attacks that she utilizes. It's kind of reminiscent of Shiro Kushinaka from New Japan as well. Uh, a lot of like legendary New Japan influence in Rika Tatsumi. Uh, she's definitely a student of the game. She is really going after Yamashita's legs, and I'm really liking the fact as well. Yamashita, now. Oh! They saw again going for that yes. hip attack. Yamashita caught it though. Oh! Perhaps she might have to get the German suplex, but drop kick to the knee by Rika. We're extending it, really. And up high goes Yamashita. Yamashita. It takes one. That's all. Just one. I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> And now Mocha in. I do want to have flashbacks of you getting your head bomb. But Mocha now bringing the fight. Shoots her off. Nice big elbow to Rika Tatsumi. Covers her. And you can really two. tell the sincereness in the wrestling of Mocha. How straightforward. Oh! And how. How oh much. Oh my true. god. There's that karate influence. Big striking blow to the midsection. And then. Across the back, and now she's got all tangled up in kind of like a manji got them there, grounded. Yes, trying to get the arms as well. Very strong base on Mocha. Oh, but the power of Rika Tatsumi just picking her up. 
Oh. Just dumping her unceremoniously. Almost to be saying like, how dare you? Right, absolutely. Shoots her off the ropes now. Luca holds on, but gets a hip attack in the ropes for her troubles. Rika taken off. Hit Come on, Luca. Oh, oh, and another one right into the jaw. I really do feel like a, like a need. How how would you say that? Like a feeling to cheer for Mocha. Like you can do it. Come on. I don't feel that. I know you're rotten inside. But Mocha now looking for a twist of fate. Oh! Shove it to the corner. Yamashita comes in and connects with a huge knee to the stomach once again. I would love to see some karate goals stuff going on right here. You might just get your wish. Oh! Ah! Oh. The side fist. Screw ah. kick by Yamashita. Following those two big shots to the both sides of the uh, the head of Rika Tatsumi, and she's got it locked in once Mok again. Mokha now one more time getting that leg and twisting it up. You can see the shoulder bone really poking out. She's got the right leg, uh, her right leg all tied up around Rika's left leg. She's got the arm and head hooked. And, ah, Suzume smartly getting in the ring there and saving her partner. Suzume now getting thrown out by Yamashita. Mocha now, this is her chance. This is the moments all rookies live for. Ah! Oh, power! Everybody! Scooped her up almost like a blue thunderbomb and then just drove her over the knee. And now she's got the sleeper applied. Perhaps she'll look to transition that into the dragon sleeper, but Mocha fighting back. She's managed to get to her feet. She needs to get to the ropes to try and roll her out here. Come on, Mocha! Mocha now. Oh, and now oh, we have a dragon! Is, there it is. The dragon sleeper locked in, Mocha on her knees, and Yamashita makes the save. Just in the nick of time, managed to make the save there. Now Yamashita looking for the skull oh. kick, evaded, step in Zaguri by Rika Tatsumi. And we have it! And Suzume connects with the ring of bell. And send Yamashita to the outside. Now Mocha is in a world of trouble. I would say that B stung her. Whoa. Oh! Be beautiful! Spoke too, soon. spoke too soon with the world of trouble. And Mocha able to evade that hip attack and connect with a huge leg lariat. That really was a leg lariat. That really was one. Swings uh, a full punch for a neck breaker. Rika counter shoots her off. Ah, and there's a hip attack once again. Mocha is hanging in there. I'm really seeing a fight in her. Rika, but with more experience, getting up on those big X One dragon sizes her up. Connects again with another big hip attack in the corner, knocking all the wind out of the lungs of Mocha. Got a lock in, oh! swings her through into the cutter, rolls her over, and that could One, be it. Two, come on! Oh. Uh, Yamashita nowhere to be seen. And the white Suzume dragon. doing her job very properly, making sure Yamashita does not get in. And the white dragon, Rika Tatsumi, puts away Mocha Miyamoto here, getting the win for her team. Suzume and Rika, the victors. And a great tag team match here on the, this, this episode of That's JPW. Fantastic tag team action here. Uh, a fantastic showing for the. Uh, the new generation, Suzume and Mocha as well. Mocha really particularly showed up, really brought the fight to Rika. And even against all odds and all, all damage as she got throughout the match, still a strong showing. Absolutely, by the end. absolutely. But in the end, it came down to the veteran and the rookie. And in situations like that, Aki, it's really a uh, it's really a fairy tale situation, and it's often it that the veteran gets the win. And that's what we saw here. Thank you for joining us on this episode of That's JPW. We'll see you next time.